One of the more interesting characters in the Star Wars franchise, in my point of view, is of course the Knights of Ren, the ones that we got to briefly see in The Force Awakens. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, a lot of people have been wondering about these set of characters that we only got a small glimpse of in The Force Awakens by JJ, and they will be making their official return in Star Wars Episode 9, which is honestly one big thing to look forward to. It's going to be a very interesting dynamic, a very interesting angle to the Star Wars franchise, to have the main villains, such as Kylo Ren, leading his own band of, you know, the Knights of Ren and whatnot, following in his path. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc., one of which has all to do with Kylo Ren, the Knights of Ren, and a little connection to that of Darth Vader. Specifically, a description of Kylo Ren leading his Knights of Ren through a narrow tunnel that appears to be ancient. Each Knight of Ren is holding a lantern to light up the tunnel, while Kylo leads the way with an ignited lightsaber. The next goes over, Kylo stopped at a path at the end of the tunnel that expands to three different directions. Kylo orders three Knights to go left and the other three to go right, while Kylo continues to go straight with his ignited lightsaber. Lastly, the two groups of the Knights and Kylo Kylo eventually regroup in a large temple of some kind, looking at a large Darth Vader statue in front of them. So not only does this also connect to some of the things that we have heard these past couple of months or so, but this also makes one wonder. Where are we? Where is this actually based in? Is this underneath the castle on Mustafar that once belonged to Darth Vader? That's a huge possibility as to where Kylo and his knights are. Now we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm they actually do have a big interest in shooting over in Italy this January, specifically over at Mount Etna, the same exact location that they used to film over for Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith for the planet of Mustafar. I can't think of any other reason as to why they would want to go over to Mount Etna to shoot some sequences. Now, it's very possible that we are actually going over to Mustafar, and this explains as to why Kylo and his knights are traveling through the set of of narrow tunnels and pathways that eventually lead to this underground temple of some kind, where we do get to witness the statue of Darth Vader. And that leads us to another big question for sure. Exactly who developed this statue of Darth Vader? Was it the Acolytes of the Beyond? Were they actual dark side, you know, worshippers? Perhaps there's a lot of possibilities here. Now, I think that there was a Darth Vader statue in the EU slash Legends material, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not 100% on this, but I'm pretty sure that there is, and if there is, it yet tells us again that Disney, Lucasfilm, JJ, and crew are really trying to dig into the EU and Legends material and kind of just incorporating that into Star Wars Episode 9, which honestly I think is great. Now, as for the Knights of Ren, right? What's so great about these characters is how they're so mysterious. We're still not quite sure as to whether or not they are going to be force sensitive or not in this movie. Now, it's pretty much highly assumed at this point in time that Kerry Russell will be portraying the lead Knight of Ren in Episode 9 because of all the descriptions that we have been hearing about her wearing the black armor, uh, her wearing a helmet that's very similar to that of a Knight of Ren, and even using a spear like weapon that has a lot of electricity around it and that's a very similar weapon to what we saw where one of the knights were actually wielding it in the force awakens so you can see all the connections here and you can really see how jj abrams is trying to toy around with the idea of not only connecting it to the prequels but also inserting a lot of vader lore as well you know in the force awakens we got the darth vader melted helmet and now it seems as so that we're going to get an actual full-blown darth vader statue that kylo ren and his knights will actually discover. Now, why are they actually going through the tunnels? Is it for that purpose to find the statue of Darth Vader? Would that actually be, you know, meaningful in the overall story of this film? Or did they just come across it by accident? There could be something valuable in this Sith cave or Sith temple, wherever they are. 
and the Darth Vader statue is just going to be a bonus thing that lies in the background. Now, to me, I think that's going to be one of the big things that a lot of people are going to look forward to seeing in Star Wars Episode Nine is this angle to the character of Kylo Ren, how he is going to be the quote-unquote master of these six mysterious individuals that we have actually yet to learn more about. And we will be learning more about these characters in Episode Nine by J.J. And you know, it's funny, I believe in the Force Awakens commentary, I think it's what... I think I think it's what J.J. Abrams said, that he was interested in seeing a Knight of Ren origin story, a whole entire movie focused on the Knights of Ren. So you can really see, you know, the passion through J.J. Abrams and what he wants to do with the character of Kylo Ren. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.